So here I am putting on my exterior pieces and finding the best layout for this crock vinyl. Cutting it on the fold for my two exterior pieces. These are my zipper tabs. I just cut them however I want to cut them. <laughs> that way I have extra and I can always cut down. Here I am cutting my four handle connectors per the pattern. I noticed that I sometimes get in the way of the video and I am sorry. Here I'm cutting my handles out of the same vinyl. And as you can see, I fold my material in half so I don't have to make one long cut. I went to put it up but forgot I needed to make a tassel. Now it's time to start on the lining pieces. I got this outdoor fabric from Walmart for $5 a yard. It's the same, just not as thick as the waterproof canvas. Here I'm making my own slip pocket. I don't even know what the pattern calls for for the slip pocket. So I just figured out where on the pattern I wanted the slip pocket to be and then cut it on the fold. I do all my slip pockets this way now. Last, I'll be cutting out the interfacing, but this bag I use vinyl and waterproof canvas, so the only interfacing I use is foam to make it stand up, and this is me trying to see if I can get those cut pieces to work, and it does not because you'd be able to feel it from the front. So I had to break out my new roll, and I only do two pieces for the front and the back, and I do not have it in the bottom seam allowance. Haven't decided if I'm going to cut it from the zipper seam allowance. Now 
Then the other only interfacing I do is the bottom panel. Um, I don't have any Decaville Light or Heavy. All I have is 809, I believe that is.